Super Intelligence is getting closer and closer, OpenAI says. As well, they realized GPT 5.1 and there has been big improvements made with Nano Banana, so with video and image generation. I am Tim, I'm a certified AI expert on VoiceFlow and here's a bunch of testimonials. So let's start with the video. This is the AI news and tools from this week relevant to businesses. So GPT 5.1 is out and it is warmer and a bit more human than GPT-5 without losing any of its uh, clarity and of its efficiency. So it has the same quality, it is just more warmer and a bit more human. As well, it has more endurance with really complex tasks. So instead of quitting right away and saying, oh, I'm not possible of doing that, it has now more endurance on actually continuing to solve the task. GPT-5.1 will be rolled out this week to every user worldwide. Google has made massive improvements with Nano Banana. There's been rumors that they have been working on Nano Banana 2, so the second model of their previous version, which has been really extraordinarily good with generating videos and images. And Nano Banana 2 is supposed to be even more realistic, even more detail oriented, and as well be able to proactively edit the images to make it more realistic or whichever style you want to have. There is no official proof of Google actually working on Nano Banana, but there's been rumors so we can hope that this will happen. As well, I think it will happen because they have competition. It is a race for the best AI model, for the best AI text model as well, but for the AI video generation models and for the AI image generation models. So it would only make sense for them to redevelop or to make their products better and thus develop new products to make them better than the previous versions. So, so I think, if not right now, sooner or later, we will see a Nano Banana 2. Microsoft has been experimenting with AGI. You know, this big race for AGI, the AI that can do everything that humans can do. Microsoft is making improvements here, or at least starting to make improvements here. They've made a new super intelligence team, is what they call it. So they want to develop an AI model that can help with general social problems like um, with medicine, with economics, or with energy, or with education. The focus of it is not to be technology high-end, it absolutely dominates software and, and the technology market, but it is here to serve us as humans, actually help us develop and get better. Which, to be fair, if I was developing the Terminator, this is what I would say to Justified. But I don't think that we will uh, be seeing the Terminator here. I think how you interpret this news is solely based on the fact on what you think about Microsoft. But they've done cool things in the past, so I think this can be a reasonable goal or a reasonable plan for them to achieve. And in the same breath, OpenAI is warning that super intelligence is now approaching. Because OpenAI thinks that until 2026, AI will make scientific discoveries, and until 2028, it will be able to make entire revolutionary discoveries. And this is because of Moore's law. Moore's law basically is that every year or every seven years, I think, um, computing power doubles in the power, but halves in price. So this is a exponential, um, is it an exponential curve? And right now, last year, it's been 40 times cheaper than in the than, than one year uh, so than one year before. So they think as with Moore's law, as technology gets better over time and exponentially better over time, we will be soon uh, able to see super intelligence. And OpenAI says that because of that, we should globally work together on not making this a I have no mouth and I must scream situation. Which, if you don't know the book, you should absolutely read it. It's basically thing, saying that I don't think the whole world will plummet and go down um, and be ruled by artificial intelligence will torture us all to death. But I do think that OpenAI and their researchers, who are far smarter than me, by the way, have a point when they say that we should work together globally. And a very controversial part to close off our news part for this video, Eleven Labs starts to integrate the voices of stars and like legends from the past. So you know Eleven Labs is this voice generating AI. You can generate voices and let them say or sing basically any text. And they are now starting to introduce voices of stars to generate certain texts or songs with their voices. Really controversial, but all of the voices and this whole project is based on the improvement of the people whose voices are being like generated and cloned. Um, so it's basically all safe and the people whose voices are being cloned know of this and 
approve of this. Which brings us to the AI tools that just came out this week and that I think you should try out because they're relevant to any business use case. One tool that has been around for a long time, but I've been just recently using this this week and I think it's really cool is ZemRush. It's basically this app and you can post any URL into at this website, it will analyze the URL, like how many visitors it has had, it has a month, how the conversion rates are, and so on. This is really good to see what competitors are doing, if their ads are working, what funnels are working, and so on. So if you have someone in your industry, if you want to know how their funnel is converting, then you can just post it into ZemRush and it will analyze all of this and tell you if you should make the improvement or where you should make the improvement. Um, and so on. Then Malimodo is a tool that you can use to do email marketing. It like automates the follow-ups, it does the email marketing. It's based on AI agents, so it can create all of these emails and follow-ups from these AI agents with the text generation and the sequences and so on. And the third tool is Cleric. It does customer support and lead qualification. So whenever a lead comes into your pipeline, Clerico is able to qualify this lead and to follow up and to book the appointments straight into your calendar really cool it just takes like three minutes to to set up or anything and as we all famously know from the harvard studies the sooner you call up a lead the better the conversion rate so with tools like credit core this is can be um really really big for some and i will put all of the links to these tools in the subscription if i don't forget hopefully so you can just check check them out and try that for yourself so that was it for this video if you want to know what happened last week then you can watch this video on your screen right now it's really really interesting because ai just develops self-consciousness so you will know everything about in this video and then we'll see us over there goodbye